Good morning, everyone. My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another video for you today. It is Monday. It's almost noon, but we've been up here working. Kathy has our labels ready to go so we can get pulling some of our items, and we do have our weekend's sales to go through, so we're gonna do that right now. Hey, guys. Yeah, I wanted to pull earlier today. I just feel like when I pull, especially on Mondays more in the afternoon, yeah. Somehow we get behind. <laughs> so stuff piles up quick. Figure just get them out of the way, and then we have the rest of the day too. I'd like to at least get everything around here yeah. photographed, if nothing else. So yeah, <laughs> we'll try to show you what we get done by the end of the day. But for now, I'm showing you what I sold over the weekend. Uh, these are this brand. <laughs> I don't know how you say it, but it's Fairy a good one. D, maybe? Yeah, it's a good one to look out for. I've sold it several times now. These didn't sell super fast, but I had them priced really high to begin with. This brand retails for a lot. Like these were probably a hundred dollar pair of shorts. Mm -hmm. I got them retail arbitrage for fifteen dollars, and I sold them on eBay for thirty nine dollars plus shipping. So not too bad. Yeah. Yes, and they have a rainbow on them, so they can get a rainbow <laughs> banner. Okay, BL. Reese is up here working hard. Yep. <laughs> Working hard at looking cute. <laughs> These are a pair of Rockport men's, just like a casual walking shoe. I would normally not pick up this brand, but they were only $4.50. And they were just in really good shape. I mean, the soles are a little dirty, but yeah. otherwise the uppers are great. They honestly look like they've been worn once or twice. So $4.50, I figured I couldn't lose. I'd get at least $20. Ended up getting $31.45 plus shipping, so still really good. Yeah. It is Monday after Easter. Hope you all had a wonderful weekend. <laughs> Got to spend some time with family ourselves and, you know, not work so much on a Sunday. <laughs> so, yeah, work much at all this whole week. Yeah, feel... this weekend was kind of refreshing, but it also means that I just feel it, super behind. <laughs> it looks the same. And because last week was already kind of behind. But... Yeah. So that's kind of again why I wanted to pull earlier today. <laughs> Okay, so this is a pair of dance though. Um, these are, these these are, these sold on Kitizen, actually to a Facebook buyer, which was, that, yeah. it's been like forever That's since that happened. Um, but then I heard through the grapevine. So who knows if this information <laughs> is true, that they had the program not Active. available for a while, even mm -hmm. though they never said it. So anyways, um, once it turned back on, it's funny cause I noticed, like I'm in a chat with like a few people that or sell a lot on kids in. Mm -hmm. And a couple of them had mentioned they got a Facebook sale. And like right before they did, I had noticed just, I scroll Facebook Marketplace sometimes. Yeah. And I was like, wow, I see a lot of kids in items or mm -hmm. items that I know are theirs and stuff. So I was like, mm -hmm. that's gotta be a good sign, right? Cause previously I wasn't. Yeah. So yeah. And then a couple days later, here I am getting a sale. So if you don't know what I mean by kid is in Facebook sales, I might as well just show you. It's been a while. <laughs> Yeah. Well, first up, if you don't have kids in, we have a code below. Um, I think it's just Ginger, and you can join. You'd get five dollars just for joining. Um, but then, yeah, we also have a video on kind of how you use kids in. Yeah. But once you're like on your page, you would just click the little screwdriver wheel, uh, shop settings, and then at the bottom here, you just want to have the Facebook Marketplace toggled on. There's nothing different about it. Once you sell on Kitizen, it's the same as any other sale. You print a label. Mm -hmm. They send all the tracking info and stuff to the buyer. If anything happens, it's actually probably better to sell through Kitizen on Facebook because they take care of all the customer Kitizen service. If, it, yeah. if something gets lost in the mail, they'll cover it and everything like right. that. So anyways, pretty good sale. Dance goes $59 free shipping. Um, I had $11 into the shoes and the shipping was 950 so still a really good yeah and i think some other benefits of the facebook sales are they they can't really make an offer right they have to buy yeah, it at the price that you have it listed price. at <laughs> oh and another question we get a lot is how do you know if it's a facebook sale and it comes in as yeah kid facebook is in buyer right facebook buyer so. so rather than a store name it would be kids in facebook buyer so it, you would know right away when you sold right on facebook so yeah, yeah. so hopefully that's the beginning of more coming through. I mean, I have the same items obviously listed on Facebook, but I mean, Facebook 
has a weird algorithm. So yeah. even though I have the items listed potentially two different times on there, mm -hmm. um, yeah, some people will see them maybe because of the kid is in and some might not. Right. So, all right, this actually we bought a new top pair of Roan men's like shorts. Paid $7 at their Play-Doh's closet, sold for $35 plus ship on Mercari. So really good. Just a pair of shorts. Yeah. $35 plus shipping. That's like 40 something plus tax. Like, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> but people find a brand they like and they keep buying it. So that's me. I, I get mean, it. I really yeah. like that. I don't know how you say it. Vuori or whatever brand. Yeah. I've had some Mercari credit and I bought myself a pair of pants that I never would have bought myself otherwise because right. they're ridiculously expensive. Yeah. Now they're like my favorite pants. So I'm like, keep trying to like get credit. <laughs> so if anyone wants to join Mercari, <laughs> you'll get $10. And, and you get might get some Fiori pants. And if seven of you join, I can get a pair of Fiori pants. So. <laughs> oh. It's so tempting now, right? I like, know. Seven, <laughs> my $70 pants. Technically free if you guys join with my so. Guys, if you do support us that way, we do appreciate it. We're joking a little bit here. because A little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's an easy but, way to support. Like, if you're not already on the platform, why not get... It, it benefits both, really. Yeah. You get 10 free bucks to shop with. It goes a long way. It really does. Oh, I'm giving up on trying to not say bucks because I just can't stop saying it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. These next two sales are kind of funny because they're almost the exact same thing, but I'll just tell you. So these are Old Navy camo cargo shorts. So cargo shorts right now seem to be in kind of like Y2K style again. These ones, so this is Old Navy. I bought these for $3.99, but I didn't realize on the back they have like a bleach staining, although with the camo, it was very hard to tell. Um, so I still listed them. I didn't want to lose the money I'd paid. I did sell them for $11 plus shipping because of that. Mm -hmm. But in general, it had even being Old Navy, had they not had that big stain on them, and I think they had like a, not a hole, but like another issue. Had they not had those issues, I think these would have went for 20 to 25 plus shipping. So not Because they're that camo yeah, just, cargo well, short. Camo's right. always good, but yeah, cargo shorts in general right now. So yeah, yeah bolo cargo shorts. Still not losing money, so that's great. And then this is another pair of camel cargo shorts, but Levi's brand. So that's why I was saying it's kind of funny that they both sold this weekend. Yeah. So yeah, Levi's, these ones I bought at the bin, so I have $1.97 into them. Sold them for $22 plus shipping. Again, I probably could have got more comps on eBay where I would want to say close to 30 plus ship, but I was sending out some offers this weekend and yeah. When my cost of goods is super low, I don't really care as much. Yeah. I'd rather just make the quick sale. So yeah. it's still a good little profit there. All right. So box K. Um, Under Armour shorts. Just a pair of men's basic golf shorts. Bought these in Utah at, I think, the Desert Industries for $5. Sold them for $25 plus shipping on I can't remember I think it was Mercari <laughs> you'll see on the screen <laughs> so yeah one of those apps that we use yeah <laughs> all right so box I was I just in there you were in K oh. just right, a couple natives. boxes over they're natives those also came from Utah I believe I got these at Savers and paid $249 Sold for $19.36 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. So I did turn off Facebook Marketplace for like a day, maybe yeah. two days, and turned it back on. I think, I, sale, got, right? I think I got three sales this weekend from it. So previously I hadn't had many the whole week. So yeah. I don't know if, again, that helped. I did run a sale right as I did it. So I know we've had at least one viewer say that they did that. And it worked um, for them? Or and worked? yeah, she seemed to feel the same way it did boost her sales a little bit so yeah. i guess if you're having slow sales on facebook give it a shot and yes. let us know if you don't <laughs> mind so that we can share that with others because it, it seems like a fairly easy hack if it is yeah boosting you in the algorithm right so i'll take three sales this weekend yeah so yeah not a bad little one so then bz but you did run a sale after you yeah just i think 10 percent no it wasn't 10 because that was a random amount maybe i don't know Less than 15, more than 10. 
So yeah, put your like Facebook. 12%. The idea is to put your Facebook store on vacation mode. We did a day, a and then take it off vacation mode, and then run a sale right then, and then yeah. So. I don't even know if you really it need could to just a be sale, the sale. <laughs> it could just I don't know, but I don't think it's just a sale because I almost always run a sale uh, unless yeah. I'm ruining my whole store by doing that. So <laughs> I don't know. It works on eBay. Yeah. Uh, I sold these Nike free runs. I had seven dollars into them. Sold for thirty four plus shipping on face not Facebook, eBay. eBay. <laughs> I'm forgetting where everything's. <laughs> All right. That was an offer I had sent to a watcher, I believe. Do we? Those are actually under a pound, so under just pound. Go on a mailer. First class. Yeah. Uh, if they don't fit in this, I'll grab a bigger one. All right, CZ. Yeah. Okay. Here of Keen. I got these retail arbitrage for fifteen dollars. I did buy four or five pairs at once. I think I only have one left after these. This pair sold for $40.44 plus shipping on eBay. So about doubling my money after fees. Pretty good. Yeah. Um, I am actually shipping those UPS though, so I need to grab a box from the closet just after we <laughs> record. Yeah. All right, our closet's hard to get into at the moment. All right, so the pair of Nike. I think these are actually to me they didn't look like cargo shorts but when i looked at the style code nike mm. called them cargo shorts so okay. cargo shorts guys <laughs> <laughs> bolo cargo shorts i guess um this pair sold for 24 dollars plus shipping i had 4.99 into them and i mean you have recently sourced a lot of shorts so yeah. it's I'm not a surprise that we're cargo yeah I mean, shorts in general right now are gonna be yeah but i mean old navy cargo shorts right. like that would be something that's that, true and they sold really fast too so that is true you've sourced a lot of shorts and not very many cargo shorts yeah out of those shorts so yeah the three that have sold today are sh cargo shorts and i don't even sell on depop <laughs> you probably be getting a lot more for these yeah and probably selling them quicker even yeah if you're selling the trendy stuff yeah. depop's probably a good place to still need them. i still want to try it out but I'm i know just, like so overwhelmed about everything else <laughs> yeah sold the other cd player though so this was I think I had said this will sell around 70 when I mm -hmm. first showed it. I didn't realize that the batteries kind of were corroded. Batteries are, batteries are corroded, when but I they're outside it. of right. the CD player. So they're not touching it. So I took a picture, noted it, and everything like that. Mm -hmm. For that reason, I priced mine as the lowest one on eBay at the time. And it's sold within just a few days for 58 45 plus shipping. Still really Still, good, yeah. yeah. So 5 into 58, that's great. Yeah. Um, that is going priority mail. I don't know what, what box do you think would be good for that. It's kind of for a weird priority. You think like a shoe box because it's or we can find a box in the closet. I want to bu bubble wrap it a little bit. Yeah, that is and it's a, eBay, so it's like I can't use the region on this. The shape of that. No, maybe I, just an eBay box that we. Unless we could get it in a mailing box, or I could re, I could modify a shoe box to be a little bit thinner. Uh, might be fine if we put. Yeah. So. Maybe a slightly modified box, but yeah. <laughs> All right. So CX. I was very happy to sell these even for eleven dollars forty four cents plus shipping. This is something I bought. I want to say three or four years ago, even. Uh, at an estate sale for $2. The brand is just Bostonian. This is when I was just like, oh, everything's cheap. I'm just going to buy anything and everything. Yeah. And even still, I, it took way too long. So mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it again for that reason. But 2 into 11.44 honestly isn't bad if right. you're just doing that all day long. Um, but yeah, if they sold in a day, that's great. When they sell in three years, that's not great. Right, right. Anyways, I'm very glad to see them go, get that space back, get that $2 back. Yeah. And move them along. So I somebody like had asked if I would take 12 on them. But since I had my sale running, I either either would have had to, like, turn off my sale. So I just priced them. I dropped the price to 13 which then with the sale brought them to 11.44 because you can't do cents on Facebook. So. Oh, right. I was just like, yes, <laughs> just take them. I'll sell them to you for five bucks. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. All right, those are going UPS, so I need to find a box as well. All right, BX. Down bottom left. Ooh. 
That's a whole box that we could fill up today. Hey. Uh, this is a Colorado Rockies Nike Windbreaker. This one is actually really nice. So I paid up for it at $10.99, but it ended up selling for $35.20 plus shipping. So it's still pretty good. Sweet. Yeah, it's a little larger. So we're probably gonna do a larger mailer. Yeah. On that. Okay, box M. This one's kind of uh, just ready to get rid of it kind of item. If you've been watching our channel for a while, I didn't look at the date. I want to say this was over a year ago now, the Harley haul. Oh, yeah. Um, most of them sold off, I'd say. A lot sold off right away. Most sold off, I'd say, within the first six months for sure. Mm -hmm. Have a few stragglers, this being one of them, and then I have one, I think only one left after that of all of those. And I had spent like $500 that day. Right. Coming out to $10.67 per piece. It was a bunch of Harley and Roar. Roar, yeah. Button downs and stuff, so. It was a really good, I'm glad I stumbled across it because I made a lot of money off of it, but this, one of the stragglers, I accepted a $20 offer because I'm just ready to be done with yeah, it. Yeah, close it out. Um, and this one wasn't, a lot of them were cool with embroidery and stuff. This is just the chambray, is that even how you say that? Chambray? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> chambray. Um, yeah, it, it had barely any markings on it, so yeah. 20 bucks. I'm still profiting five, getting plus getting my 1067 cost of goods back. Right, and when you do larger, you know, <laughs> bulk yeah. kind of purchases, you do have some that sell really well and some that take longer. Yeah, and sometimes you just break even on them. Yeah, some, sometimes you lose on them. Overall, so. the whole haul, I mean, to find all of that at once yeah. and be able to list it all so fast, yeah. and that was just a really good find. Yep. It just happened. It was just like I ran it randomly was in a Goodwill. A employee was putting on a new rack and I was just peeking at the new rack and just putting it all in my cart. So I just yeah. got lucky, which that's what happens when you're constantly in the thrift store. Right. So it's not like every day I get lucky, but sometimes I do. Yeah, sometimes you got to be right place, right time. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes I think... Sometimes I walk into a good wall and someone else has their cart full of all the shoes yeah. that I would have got, so... Yeah. You know. <laughs> I think if if that was more like a garage sale or an estate sale where you could have, like, haggled the price, you yeah. probably could have even got a better deal, you yeah. know? Ten bucks a shirt at a yard sale is a lot, so... Definitely. You'd probably could have... The funny thing is, I probably wouldn't have paid ten dollars a shirt at a... Is that weird? Like, even though knowing I could sell most... A lot of those Harley shirts sold for, like, forty bucks plus shipping a piece. Yeah. Even knowing that, I still might. I in my head, a yard sale is supposed to be like a dollar for a clothing. So item. out of principle, you wouldn't. Yeah. Pay, even I don't though you. Maybe now I would, but I feel like <laughs> last year I wouldn't have. So we'll see. I actually screenshotted a garage sale that's at the end of the month because I'm excited to get going to some. Yeah. All right. I sold these Tiva. Tiva's. Tiva. I'm gonna say a Tiva. I don't care how it's really said. <laughs> Sandals for seventeen dollars on Posh. It was lower than I wanted, but honestly, the comps didn't support the price that I was hoping for. So mm -hmm. I, they sold within like an hour of me listing them on Posh. I did pay $5.99 for them, so I'm more than doubling my money, but it's only like a $7, $8 profit. But yeah, these only retail for $40. Mm. So to get $17, buyer paid shipping and tax, they're all in close to $30 for pre-owned. So I thought that was fair, and for how fast they sold, I'll take it versus waiting who knows how long to maybe make three to five extra dollars. Right. Those are interesting. Yeah. Like, and that was another reason I was like, I don't know how many people know how to even put those on their feet. <laughs> yeah. so. It's like a uh. it's like a spaghetti mess. <laughs> but yep. hmm. not my a, choice of shoe, but a regional A for those, hopefully. All right, I think a couple more. I said I wasn't gonna pile the labels on here, but I did. <laughs> I'd see Z. Smart wool shirt. So it's just a smart wool basic Henley shirt. Bought for $5.99, sold for $47 with discount shipping on Posh. So always look out for smart wool or really any kind of wool mm -hmm. shirts. There's lots of good wool brands. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Um, really a Tyvek on that. Okay, shoe shelf Timberlands. Hey, I like getting stuff off the shoe shelf. So these ones. I can get these ones. Yeah. All right, I was hoping for a little more on these, but I will take what I got. I 
because I paid up for them. I paid $19.99 for these at a Goodwill. They're a really nice pair of Timberland like chukka boots. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, the way that they're kind of scuffed is like kind of perfection. <laughs> like I like, yeah. I like that worn in look. So yeah. the soles were really good and stuff though. So I was willing to pay for them. I think I listed them at 79. I was hoping for around 60 plus shipping, but I got an offer of 50 and I accepted. So I'm about doubling my money on those. Fairly quickly, I'd say they were listed right around 30 days at this point. So, that's not bad. Very nice. Okay, and lastly... What are you going to ship those in? Oh, um, so that was Poshmark, probably. So anything, huh? Regional yeah, B, maybe? Regional B. We'll give it a little space, we'll pad or it. Or maybe like a large flat rate. I feel like we don't use those a lot. Yeah. So in the event of us using our shoe rack over there, that usually means that they're too big to fit yeah. in our <laughs> cellophane bag. At one point we ran out of space. So yeah. these, honestly, we probably should bag these today because- And move them into I boxes. I boots that I would like to move over here, but yeah. Yeah. So if they're like men's size 13 and above, they usually don't fit well in the, the cellophanes. And then we put them here till we sell them. Right. And then yeah, big boots and stuff. So but. we'll, we still bag them, yeah. like we still protect them either in cellophane or we have some larger poly, poly mailers in or there. Some random, we do keep a bag full of just any yeah. sort of scrap materials that yeah. we've received from one place or another. So. Just wanted to point that out. I know sometimes we don't show our full <laughs> yeah. system and, and how we do things. Video's coming in the future, for sure. <laughs> now that tax season is over, yeah, a lot of these... We're trying to figure out when I can leave him alone <laughs> so he can make <laughs> it start to make these videos. Yeah. All right, last sale that keeps coming so far is a pair of Cole Haan, just like basic slip-on shoes. I bought these just last week for $9.99, sold them for $40 plus shipping. Um, um, on Posh, so $40. Someone offered $40, and I accepted. I think those will go in a regional B. Or even a shoebox, maybe, huh? Shoebox? You trying to waste my shoebox? Waste? <laughs> I just like, I like using original bees because you can't yeah. use them anywhere else. That's true. That is, whoa. okay. We're gonna get the stuff packed up, <laughs> check back in, and I mean, it's it's not even 12 yet, so, so we still nice. have a few hours to go, so. Yeah, because then we can hopefully do three hours of photography. Yeah. Or at well, least two. <laughs> Yeah, we can, right? No. We will. <laughs> she will. <laughs> hey, uh, we'll, be, we'll be right back. All righty, got those packed up. Reese was working hard. He's a good boy. <laughs> we did have one more sale come through. Yeah, I didn't write it because I know it's in this hot basket. The beret. Yeah. Gonna let all that a little, but. Yeah, it's just like a wool beret. It wasn't it with tag, retail was 60. It's been listed a long time. So I got a $20 offer and accepted. I bought it for 650. So I'm still making like a $9 profit, I think. Yeah. So yeah, move that along to somebody who wants it. And yeah, that's <laughs> it so far. So yeah, like Chris said, it's only about noon. Yeah, it's about 1220 now. What's so, a, what are we gonna pack that in? Oh, what um, was that on eBay? It was on par, so I want the hat to sit flat. Well, we had that one box, so we ended up not being able to use that regional B for. Flat, right? Kind of. Uh, I think it was those Timberlands. I think those Timberlands were just a little too long. Feels ridiculous of a hat, but honestly, it barely. Cause yeah, I don't want to yeah. fold the hat, so it's maybe that's. Right. Yeah, we'll do that. I think it's a good box for it on Poshmark. Yeah, and then, so I'll put some like bubble pops there. Air pillows, yeah. with the cellophane <laughs> bag. Yeah. And yeah. And that will be that. So that will be that. And then what do we gotta do? Oh, well, we gotta go eat some lunch. Oh, go down. We got some grocery store sushi in the fridge waiting for me. <laughs> I'm not eating that crap. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> um, but after that, yeah, I mean, so most of the issues that are falling all over the place are already listed. Mm -hmm. So like, now that we have some space here, we can move some of the boots over. Yeah. Gotta bag these shoes. Maybe you can help me bag those. Yep. And then, yeah, this was just all the randomness. So I'd like to photograph anything that needs to be on a table before I move the table out of the way. Mm -hmm. And then this is just a pile of clothes, but obviously we hang the clothes there. To, so I didn't want to have to move the table back and forth, which is why I'm kind of now feeling behind. Yeah. Because I kept leaving the table there. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> 
Yeah, I guess my goal for today is get this table all photographed and, and then move get, it back at least here. put away anything that's already listed and photographed. So, and then if I have extra time after that, starting to photograph this pile of clothes. So yeah. that's kind of, you know, what with the, the goal real is. expectation <laughs> of what, two and a half hours to get our kids. I yeah. I can do at least that. Yeah. So. <laughs> Should be able to do that yep. with a little we'll, lunch in we'll there. We'll check back in and tell you if I did that or not. <laughs> or yeah. if I'm eating my sushi and then say, oh, I want to go thrifty. <laughs> not We're not going to let it happen. <laughs> not today. Not going to happen today. No. Oh, but what? I needed to mention, I do know that I had this on myself oh, the whole time, but Chris was like, <laughs> I can't see it. I can. I still can't really even see it. <laughs> so I'm Some sure you all yeah. have seen it the whole time, but... This is my second shirt of the day already, so I wasn't about to switch it again. So, yeah. I yeah. know I have a stain, and I'm perfectly fine with that. <laughs> so. Well, we're going to get to work, get some lunch, and then we'll check back in, see where we're at. All right, guys, we're back from lunch the next day. <laughs> so we, uh, we just... Got back up here working after we ate lunch, and I don't know, the day kind of got away from us. We did get a ton of stuff done, and I think that's part of it. Yeah, we picked it up off the floor and put it on the table. <laughs> no, we've done a, like we had to, we, we did reorganize a bunch of shoes. We yeah. bagged a bunch of shoes, put them away so we I can did, get some yeah. stuff. I listed, well, yesterday I ended up listing 13 plus four personal. Yeah. And then today, so far, 20 plus four personal. Well, don't talk about today because that's going to be in tomorrow's video. <laughs> well, I'm not going to. We don't see every day what we Spoiler live. alert. <laughs> today, the next day yeah. after you saw the first half of this video. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Oh, I got an itch on my nose. But, yeah, we've, uh, we, Kathy wanted to um, take care of everything that was on that table and we kind of put new stuff on the table. Yeah, this is different. Yeah. This stuff. So, I did get all that random stuff. This is actually just those really big. I need to figure out where to put these. Where should we put these? Those ski boots, yeah. Yeah, so this is a box. We'll ship them in when they sell, but I don't expect them, honestly, to sell probably till next year at this point, like next, when the snow comes back around <laughs> next season. Yeah. So. so anyway, kind of a, a little bit of a weird ending to this video. Sorry about that. Like I said, we just kind of, we got in the zone and um, we weren't, I don't know, because we packed up earlier yesterday than we normally do on Mondays or like weekends um, when we're packing up our weekend sales. And so we just kind of had all this time to get everything done and we did. <laughs> so just forgot to record it. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support today. We do appreciate it and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.